Well, hi guys, I'm gonna show you how I created this uber natural everyday look I would wear just to go to work, the grocery store, whatever. Um, and if you're interested, so keep watching. So I'm also gonna show you my skin prep before I put I use high frequency treatment, there's more info on my blog. I use Clear Skin by PCA with niacinamide for anti-acne, dual redness relief also has niacinamide ceramides as well as total strength serum for anti-aging and hydration. This product has hyaluronic acid and then sometimes I, well and I wash with benzoyl peroxide 5% wash and sometimes I use a couple times a week um, retinol but that's at night time. I showed it to you and then also use body therapy for my hands and body so I use that morning and night and then um, also you put uh, sunscreen on too I really love PCA products those are my favorite now also use the Saveda hair um, spray sort of liquid that helps to grow hair. It has turmeric in it. I don't really like turmeric so I don't know if it's helping so I kind of like gently massage it in my head. Uh, then this Janner Dolls Matte Foundation Screen 1, it's, I really fell in love with it. It's a primer, concealer and a foundation all in one. It's buildable. You can add more coverage if you want to. It's uh, plant-based ingredients, uh, it's skincare, makeup type of product, clean, vegan, not as in animals, light white, doesn't clog the pores, which is not comedogenic, no synthetic fragrance or anything. And I do supplement it sometimes with um, concealer. I like MAC concealer, even though the foundation is the concealer, but like if you do have a little bit more discolor in certain spots um, like a thicker concealer is helpful so for that one like Jane Ardell they make concealers too but there are less coverage so if you want more coverage you might want to use one of those not clean brands but I try to limit how much I use it because I notice a bit big difference once I start using Jane Ardell as my main foundation and just touch up with let's say stronger uh, products in certain uh, spots I definitely not getting like clock pores like I used to when I use like a stay lather foundation and uh, well, my husband I'm trying to interrupt but um and then I put in Ardell's powder. I usually use my fingers for everything actually. The liquid and the powder foundations. I often use my fingers, not always, but depends how I feel. And uh, I kind of intend there is for the day. But um, this this also has sunscreen that the Jane Ardell's pressed powder foundation and it's also mineral based and very light and I feel like it's really really helpful because you can touch up during the day with it and it's also you don't have to like reapply sunscreen because there's already sunscreen in it so you can just add that during the day and you will you know restore your sunscreen and I love do contouring, you know, I do uh, blush, well this is specifically I'm using Jane Ardell, the contour kit, but I have different uh, blushes and some of them, sometimes I use matte blush, sometimes I use, um, this, you know, with illumination, like a blush slash highlighter, sometimes I use a separate highlighter, like in this video there is a separate and then the contour too, you know, so I kind of like blend it in there, my cheek and under cheek and then contour the top of my forehead and then along the jaw, sometimes on the sides of my nose too. Perfect mineral, uh, 
you know, foundation, everything, and mineral products are really easy to apply and to fix if you do mess up because they're just kind of so light. Um, ooh, things are coming together. I really like the um, eyelash um, moisturizer, or I guess, well, it's not really a primer, but it can be, but it's more like conditioner, eyelash conditioner. From Jane Ardell. I think it does help eyelash health, especially if you use like um, mascaras every day. I think, you know, as we age, our eyelashes actually become shorter and not as many of them. So, but then I also add this um, Max Eyelash Extender Volumizer, which I really love. It's like, you know, you don't want to have to put fake lashes every day, so having them, um, it just look a little, make them look a little cooler, thicker, adds even extra volume with the conditioner, and plus this one, because that one is not natural, so if you like conditioner, protects them from the pet stuff, at least a little bit, that is maybe in the back product. But, um, but you know, MAC really holds everything really for a long time. So I use more MAC when I know I have to have, um, maybe the rainy or something like that because it's waterproof. Now, this mascara is from Jane Ardell. It's not waterproof, but you know, for work, it's okay. Not gonna be outside much, and it's more healthier, natural for um, the lashes and the eyes. Well, I do use Max. I love Max eyebrow powder. Sometimes I use eyebrow pencil to like create more intense effect, like whatever. But um, Tinderdale, unfortunately, don't have my brow shade, so that's why I usually use this one for that. And some people said, "Oh, is your brows like microbladed?" I'm like, "No." You know, I'm only like 32 years old, so like that would be really cool in my brows. But no, I think this powder makes the brows look so good. And I just, um, you know, go, make sure I go far enough. Wearing some coffee, yeah. Um, and it stays good, you know, and then. It has like highlighter with it that you can kind of put under on the brow bone, uh, under your brow. That illuminates your eyes, kind of like golden tone, the specific one. And brows really shape your face, so I think if anything, brows, mascara, those are very important things. And then I use, I have this Morphe's brow gel that kind of sets them. You know the powder and the little hairs to stay where they should be. Um, I also have Jane Ardell makes one too, but I forgot it today. And I love this Mac lip primer that I just put on. But anyway, so also use this hair gel. Kind of, it gives just like um, a little golden shine and puts your hair in place. It's very messy. Um, and then I use this Max lip uh, lip um, palette, which is like a professional palette. But you know, you can buy individual colors from it. It depends on the day how I feel like. But I really like this modern nudes palette. Sometimes, well, there's some nice shades from Janner that I like. But so those are my two go pro uh, products. Brands um, as well as lip liners. You know, I have some Jane Ardell's like espresso nudes, and I have Max also. I uh, just use them interchangeably, but today I didn't bring some of the style lips. So. Anyway, my husband tried to interrupt my video, so. Um, that is the blush that I mentioned that has a little sparkle on it, so I put that on. Now I really like this um, highlighter pencil from Dinardell. I just use it just to kind of in the inner corner of the eye and again on the brow. This one is more like light shade color. I feel like it just really kind of like opens up the eyes. 
um, just makes it more complicated. And you just, you know, use a pencil sharpener and then it's all new again. And uh, this is like a trio eyeshadow trio I really like from Dinnerdale. Uh, it's also a very natural shade, but you know, if you have any like white, green, oyster color, and then a little pink on the lid, so you can put that white color all over, and then pink and then brown on the side, pink and a little brown on the side. And again, like mineral eyeshadow is so easy to work with. If you're a beginner, I definitely recommend mineral eyeshadow. And this is a uh, like cream sort of eyeliner that I usually do the base with it and then I sometimes touch up with like a tip eyeliner from MAC to kind of set this one in so I don't have to like put the whole um, not a harsh eyeliner because I this one is natural too from Danadel but you know sometimes like not all natural products are as um, ideal as you want them to be so I feel like this brush that came with it it can be a little sloppy there on the end so I just touch up with you know the matte fine tip eyeliner which is amazing you know that's for professional use and that's pretty much it and then you know I put set set and spray I have usually used that migrating spray from Trinidad oh and this is um with next gloss from Mac here. So yeah, and uh, this is not specifically a setting spray. It's like more the hydrating spray, but I use it's like pomegranate hydrating spray. But I use it as a um, oh, I don't want it. Yet. But anyway, so yeah, uh, this is the everyday kind. Of, I think it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Have a brilliant day.